Welcome back! Well guys, today we're making crabless cakes. I have to admit, I've tried a lot of vegan crab cake recipes and none of them have come close to what I remember until now. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. We're going to start by chopping onion, a green pepper and some bell pepper. Then just rinse a can of jackfruit with water. Then pull the chunks apart into shreds. In a bowl, you're going to add your onion, your bell pepper, along with the jackfruit. You're going to add mayo, flour, and breadcrumbs. That's what's going to hold the cakes together. We're going to season it with some parsley, Old Bay seasoning, seaweed, sea salt, red pepper flakes, and garlic powder. Now just combine the mixture until it starts to stick together and I'm going to form five patties. OMG! Vegan magic! That looks so good! Now in a pan, spray with olive oil. I'll sear the cakes for 15 minutes, medium heat, on both sides. I'm also making a vegan aioli using vegan mayo, Dijon mustard, dill wheat, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Like we're about to have some happy patties. Okay, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome back, Fly Vegan family. Today we're making Fly Vegan Cajun rice, or as some call it, dirty rice. So let's get started. So what I'm doing here is dicing all of the vegetables. I'm going to be using the Trinity, some garlic and some mushroom of course. The Trinity is celery, bell pepper and onion. It's okay if you only use green pepper. Now we're going to add some butter to a pan, then add your onion, your garlic, your bell pepper, celery, and the mushroom. Saute the vegetables for about 10 minutes until they become traces. And now we're going to add our seasoning. Throw in about three bay leaves, some smoked paprika, some cayenne pepper, some basil, thyme, sea salt, and parsley. I'm going to add some better than boiled vegetable base. Mix everything in. Then I'll add the rice and some beefless crumbles. Add some soy sauce and water. 
make sure everything is completely mixed in. Now just cover the rice and cook it for about 25 minutes. The ingredients are in the description. This is by far my most requested recipe. And there you have it, fly vegan Cajun rice. On time roulette! And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe! Welcome back! Let me show you how to make fly vegan jambalaya. Start by chopping one cup of onion, a cup of bell pepper, one and a half cups of tomato, three cloves of garlic, and one cup of celery. I'm going to take this Cajun vegetable melody and put it in a pot with a tablespoon of vegan butter. I'm going to saute the vegetables for about five minutes. Then I'll add a tablespoon of vegetable base, Cajun seasoning, and three bay leaves. Now add two cups of parboiled rice and four cups of water. Make sure everything is mixed in and then you're going to cover it for 25 minutes. While the rice is cooking, I'll slice and brown two field roll sausage. When the rice is done, take those sausage and drop them in all the Cajun goodness. I know what you're thinking. You might not say it, but I know what you're thinking. That girl good. She the best. Fun time roulette! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, Fly Vegans. Today I'm going to give you my granny's recipe for hoe cakes. And here in the South, some people call them hot water cornbread. First, we're going to need some self rising cornmeal, some flour some baking powder, sea salt, and sugar. Mix the dry ingredients together. Now pour in some hot water. I'm going to mix this until it's smooth. I'm going to cook these in a cast iron skillet with a couple of tablespoons of oil. Ladle the batter into a pan as if you would a pancake. I'm going to cook each cake for about three minutes on each side. You'll know to flip the cake when you see the bubbles burst 
and the edges will become golden brown. Oh yeah! Smash that thumbs up button so you don't forget. <laughs> now just repeat the same steps with the rest of the batter. You guys, let me know in the comments if you've ever had a whole okay. cake. It's the best cornbread you'll ever have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And if you're new, subscribe. You make my love come down. Love come down. Welcome back. Okay, guys, let's make some baked fly vegan mac and cheese. We're going to start by preparing our pasta. In a blender, add some tofu, onion, bell pepper, cashew milk, flour, sour cream, Cajun seasoning, vegan cheese, and vegetable base. I'm going to blend this for about three minutes. If you don't have a high power blender, heat it on the stove for about five minutes until it's hot. After you drain your pasta, pour the warm cheese into a bowl with the pasta and mix it. Place the pasta in a dish to bake. Bake it at 400 for about 30 minutes. This is one recipe I know you will enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Welcome back, Fly Vegans. Today we're making a Fly Vegan Pepper Steak. Hope you're ready. Let's get started. To make the vegan steak, I'm going to use soy curls. The brand is Butler, and I get them from Amazon. So I'm going to add those to a bowl, add some vegetable bouillon, and some vegan Worcestershire sauce. Then I'll just add hot water. And I'll let that rehydrate for about 10 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'll start the rice. And I'm making two cups of rice. So 
So I'm gonna just cover the rice and then I'll prepare the vegetables. Okay, so you're gonna need some onion and a bell pepper. And you're gonna cut them into half inch slices. Okay, to a hot pan, I'm gonna add some vegetable oil and some sesame seed oil. So this is some fresh ginger that I grated and I'm gonna add some garlic that I've minced. And I'm just going to brown and saute this for about five minutes. So I drained the soy curls and I'm going to add them. And I let them cook. Add some soy sauce. And now I'm going to add the onion and bell pepper. Okay, let the veggies cook down for a few minutes. So I'm going to take some water, and to the water I'm going to add sugar and some cornstarch, and I'll mix that together. To make a slurry then I'll add it to the pan and just mix it until the sauce thickens now it's ready to serve we're gonna serve this on a bed of rice If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe! Welcome back, Fly Vegan fans. Today we're cooking up a Fly Vegan Pot Roast. I'm going to start by adding some vegan butter to the pan. Now I'm going to throw in some onion and minced garlic. I'm going to saute this for about five minutes. Now I'm going to add some A1 sauce some better than bouillon, some Worcestershire sauce, and then mix it. Now I'm gonna add in a can of jackfruit. Rinse and drain jackfruit. 
put in a combination of seasoning. Then I'll stir it up. I added some cornstarch with water and I'm just gonna pour that in. Mix this up and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take a casserole dish and add some red potatoes, carrots, some celery, and mushroom. I'll just make sure these are spread out evenly. Now you just have to add the jackfruit mixture. Now I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 for one and a half hours. Voila, vegan pot roast. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe.